I grew up in the Midwest, in Kansas City, which is about as far from any ocean in the U.S. as you could get. And it was really the pages of National Geographic magazine and these just brilliant, beautiful photos of the ocean and ocean life that, that drew me to the field of oceanography. And so I took the chance and I applied for schools that had a marine science emphasis in their biology program. And uh, here I am. <laughs> Hui is to the oceans what Google is to the internet. And you know, just like Google is understanding every aspect of the internet and how to use it and how to do things well, we apply a similar strategy to the oceans. My lab focuses on some of the smallest organisms in the ocean, the microorganisms. And we work on these in relation to marine animals primarily. So we work a lot with corals. These are the animals that form reefs, which support coral reef ecosystems. I'm trying to understand symbiotic associations that microbes, that bacteria have with these marine animals and how that might be able to help us understand their health. So one of the problems we're working on is the stony coral tissue loss disease. So just like the name sounds, it's a disease that's specific to stony corals, the reef building corals. If you take a person that's working 80 hours a week and um, they're not getting any exercise and they're not eating right, you're gonna create a scenario of chronic stress. Corals may similarly be under that kind of scenario where they, they just don't have the capacity to, to fight off pathogens. We will go into the field, into the Virgin Islands, uh, to get diseased um, and healthy corals to, to compare to each other. Uh, those get shipped back to my laboratory here. And the first thing we do is um, we extract the, the, the DNA, the genetic material. Um, and so we basically take this kind of forensics-based approach to try and understand what a diseased coral has versus what a, a healthy coral has. Um, and when you compare that with enough um, specimens and under different kinds of, of conditions, then hopefully you will get at the answer. There's just a vast opportunity right now to, to understand what microorganisms are doing and how they're shaping different processes in our ocean as well as our planet.